Hello world, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome back to CodingScientist.com. We are learning about machine learning on the edge using Arduino Nano 33 BLE Sense Board. So this is what exactly. I hope you guys are ready with this device. It's pretty uh, unique and it's wonderful. I hope the, in the introduction lesson, the previous lesson I showed you what are all the things you can do using this particular board so it's pretty powerful guys for such a small small you know form factor it's you know it's got ton loads of sensors and stuff like that it's it's really good i have built <coughs> ton loads of ml uh, applications and i also uh, built a couple of iot stuff i also did few of you know small time robotics uh, stuff like hand gesture and kind of thing it worked fantastic. It's just amazing. It's amazing to see in such a small device, a powerful device, you can do ton loads of things. All right, go ahead and get, get this connected, get this hooked up to <coughs> your micro USB like this. I, I connected uh, to my uh, desktop machine and this is how it is connected. You should see this green LED uh, glowing. When you boot it for the first time, you can see a RGB purple, green, blue light glowing in the side in next to next to this BLE. So don't worry about that. Don't get panicked. What about, uh, I'll explain what exactly is that. Anyways, in this particular lesson guys, so what we will do, I will show you how to uh, uh, boot your BLE sense for the first time and, and some basic configuration, right? It's very important that you do the setup and the configuration in a correct manner. We will be using Arduino IDE. It's a desktop IDE. You may opt for the browser based uh, IDE, a cloud based IDE, but you know, based on my experience using those cloud based IDE for especially for this particular project using uh, BLE Sense, it's somehow, you know, uh, I was not very comfortable. So I, I prefer to have a desktop IDE installed on your Windows machine and uh, connected to Arduino and make it work and that it works flawless. All right. So for those of you who are totally totally new to arduino world to a microcontroller world i will show you from where to install the arduino ide for for those of you who have already done quite a bit of work on arduino you may just skip this section is just you know downloading uh, uh, stuff so let me just go ahead and uh, i will share you my screen so what we will do is open a browser, all right, and uh, here you can type Arduino IDE download, Arduino IDE download for Windows 10, or you can just say download. Okay, the first link which you see here, software Arduino, go to that particular link open it and this will take you to the Arduino side and this is where you will actually do the download of RDE, IDE. So what you need to do, go to this section, this one, Windows app. I would prefer Windows app and I'm sure most of you are using Windows 10. So click on this, all right. And once you click, it will take you to this page. You can just say download instead of contribute and download. Well, if you have money, you can contribute. I, I was just using the free version. So just download. Okay. And then get, go to this page. It will take you to this page. Arduino ID, the app page for Microsoft Windows. You can just click get. Once you get, once you click get, it will just take you to the particular app section within your uh, Windows uh, OS. And there you go. It's taking you to the Microsoft Store. There you go. And this product is installed. For me, it says it is already installed. So for you, it might show here as install. Instead of launch, it will show install. So you need to click install button. And it will take a couple of, you know, minutes, maybe one, two minutes. And uh, you, you have to follow the screen in section. Click next, next, next. And your IDE is installed very much. All right. Now, once you go there, what you may want to do is once you install the IDE, what we should do is 
we should uh, you know uh, do the basic configuration so let me just open up the ide here i am just opening up the ide it's taking a while all right so before uh, before we install uh, any new stuff guys what i will show you is once you install you got to go to the browser window or the, the desktop window at the bottom the windows window and type for arduino and you will get the app here okay you can just right click and pin to start you have to just keep the mouse on top of that and right click oops i am opening for the second time let me just close it okay so all you need to do is click arduino and type arduino and you need to right click keep the arrow here right click pin to start so what will happen is you will get this logo on your desktop on, on at the bottom tray of your desktop itself so it's very easy to open it up anytime so our ide is open here so what we need to do now we have to we have something called one second let me just minimize this all right so we have something called uh, you know if if you have to really if you want to upload your code and write some code into your uh, ble 33 sense you need to you know install something called embed os core okay embed m b e d embed os core so embed os core contains the arduino apis and arduino ide integration files targeting to program your ble sense as soon as your board is connected to the usb all right so this, installing this core is very important so it's a kind of library it's a kind of driver library or you can call it as a repository which basically connects the arduino apis you know uh, the codes into the ide and it gets integrated together to trigger the board so how do we do that so what we need to do we need to go to tools menu and then the boards and the board manager so on the ide let me just share on the ide go to tools and then we need to go to the board can you see the board go to tools go to board and then boards manager and you will have this window open in front of you here what you need to do you need to type embed okay once you type embed you can see all the first top 3 you know forget about the potena board the first top 2 so you can either install the arduino embed os edge boards this one or else the second one i have installed the second one actually both of them works so i have installed the second one because it was specifically meant for arduino nano can you see it's written here arduino nano 33 ble and ble sense and rp2040 connect and such like that if you want to learn more about this particular embed os nano boards i i would suggest you go ahead and read this documentation guys because these are all skills these are all knowledge so i will just open it up you need to understand what exactly we are trying to install what it does and kind of thing so this will open up you know a ton loads of stuff in arduino uh, site so you can, you can also go ahead and learn about uh, you know uh, what is embed what exactly it does for machine learning why is it important to install embed core so go ahead and click here to install for example this one i had already installed so it it says for me it says remove so because i had already installed it can you see it here it says install for you it might show install button here instead of remove it might show install so click on that and it's going to take at least 4 to 5 minutes all right so be patient do not interrupt just leave it as it is let it run and once it says install you have to shut down your ide and restart again or you might even install this as well so once you are ready with this setup guys and uh, we will then proceed with the next steps
which i am going to show you in the next lesson all right good to see you guys and i'll come back to you soon bye bye